Welcome to Stay Strong in September. Sometimes it's hard to know what to pray and you just can't find the words. And they're great times to just take a passage from the Bible and pray those words. There are all sorts of different topics where we see in the words of the Bible, words we can pray, but particularly places like the Psalms give us great words that we can just say right to God. This is what we read in Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Next time you find it hard to know what to pray, find a passage in the Bible that gives you the words or puts into words the thoughts you have at that time and pray them to God. Let's pray and ask for his help as we look at today's passage. Lord, thank you that your word provides us words when we don't know what to say and that it is your words that are in accordance with your will. May they be great inspiration for our prayers and actions. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to keep reading through Timothy, 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 8 to 15. Therefore, I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. I also want women to dress modestly, with decency and propriety, adorning themselves not with elaborate hairstyles or gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds, appropriate for women who profess to worship God. A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not the one deceived. It was the woman who was deceived and became a sinner. But women will be saved through childbearing if they continue in the faith, love and holiness with propriety. Now there are a whole lot of different things in that passage that we could talk about today. All sorts of different directions we could go. They really need more than a short video. But the key idea I want to leave with you today is it reminds us that God cares about character. As we see people around us, we not, may not be able to see from our brief interactions with them or what we see on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter about them. They're just superficial things. But what God cares about is not whether we're trendy or in style. He cares about what's going on in the inside, what's going on in our heart, what's happening in our mind. They are the things that matter to God. And so we need to be people who are working and focusing on those things for ourselves and in how we relate to other people. So make sure they're the things that matter to us, for us to work on, and as we develop opinions and views about other people and who are good kind of people to be relating with and spending time with, and to be attracted to. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do pray that in our life and in the lives of those around us, we may indeed care about character, just as you do. Help us to grow and mature, not to become more worldly, but to become more like the Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.